guys welcome back to my channel we learn together this is your host harvish and today i have brought you another travel video uh, this video is originally made by ryan shirley and he uploaded on his youtube channel he has traveled to austria and he has providing 10 top places to visit in austria uh, in the previous video we done this uh, brief history of uh, austria with mr history channel video and in this video i would like to show you the uh, the places you can visit in austria if you like this video please don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to my channel and share your feedback in the comment section below so let's go and dive in and see the beauty of austria what's up guys my name is ryan and i recently turned from a trip to the beautiful country of austria and i want to show you my favorite places so here's my austria top 10. Austria is one of the most beautiful countries I've been to. It is so green, they have some of the prettiest mountains and lakes you'll ever see. Now to get there, I'd recommend flying into either Vienna or Salzburg, preferably Salzburg because it's closer to the Alps. So for our first location, we're gonna head over to Go South. It is one of the most beautiful towns. Like it is so gorgeous. When you think about the European Alps, this is it. It had some of the prettiest churches I've ever seen. There was hardly anybody. I had a whole place to myself. It was absolutely beautiful. So I definitely recommend taking a little pit stop here if you're near Hellstadt. All right, so after Go South, we're gonna head up the road 15 minutes to see the Go South Sea Lake. It's just a quick drive from Go South. You'll pass a beautiful lake with a nice little bench. And there's a parking lot where you can park your car. Go South Sea is just this beautiful lake that is situated between the Dockstein Glacier and the mighty peaks of Go South Pond. Probably butchered those words. There's a beautiful trail and you can walk around the whole lake. They have an awesome lodge where you can get food and you can also rent a boat and enjoy the lake even more. One thing that I do regret is I didn't take the gondola up because there's absolutely beautiful views on top and there's also the infamous Austria Sky Ladder, which I would have known about if I was there. So make sure you guys visit that lake if you have a chance. It is so pretty. All right, so after Go South Sea, we're gonna head over to the Gross Glockner High Alpine Road. It's the highest road in Austria at 2,504 meters, and it's one of the highest in Europe. It's named after Gross Glockner, which is the highest peak in Austria at 3,798 meters. When I was there, I slept at the base of the mountain, and I woke up around 6 a.m. to catch the sunrise. It cost me about 35 euros to enter the park, I was absolutely shook by the beauty and the colors of the mountains when I reached the top. Roads were a little scary, but nothing too crazy. After enjoying Gloss Glockner, I made the short drive over to the Pastorees Glacier. It's the biggest glacier in Austria. They had a nice parking garage and I found this trail that led to the base of the glacier. So I hiked down to the bottom and the glacier was so cool. I loved the lake at the bottom. It was so gray and so pretty. The surrounding mountains are absolutely huge. You're able to see the grass block from out in there. And I just had a good time having it all to myself. So definitely a really cool place to visit if you're in the grass Glockner National Park. All right, so after grass Glockner and Pastorees, we're gonna head over to Krimmel Falls. So these are the highest waterfalls in Austria at 300 meters high. There are three stages of the waterfall, the biggest being over 140 meters. So the entrance fee is about four euros and it's about a 30 minute hike to the lowest waterfall, which is the biggest and most impressive in my opinion. You can also hike to the top if you're feeling like an adventure. There's a nice little lodge where you can have lunch. If you like waterfalls, I definitely recommend visiting Grimmel Falls. All right, so after Grimmel Falls, we're gonna head over to the beautiful town of Hallstatt. When you see Hallstatt for the first time, it feels like a fairy tale. It's located on Lake Hallstatt and it has the beautiful mountains surrounding it. And the town is just so beautiful. It's famous for its 16th century outdoor style houses. Hallstatt used to be a salt mining village, but now it's a very popular tourist destination. To get there, it's about an hour drive from Salzburg. You drive through a tunnel to get to the town. I'd recommend going there and walking around and enjoying the beauty of the town. All right, so after Hallstatt, we're gonna head over to Wolfgangsee Lake. It's about an hour drive from Salzburg. I stumbled upon this lake on my way to Hallstatt. I was just blown away by the mountains and the color of the water. 
It literally felt like I was in the ocean. They had like these boats in the water and it was just so beautiful. Found a nice little pit stop off the side of the road where I was able to get a panoramic view of the area and it was just so freaking cool. I definitely recommend hanging around Lake Wolfgangsee if you get a chance. So after Lake Wolfgangsee, we're gonna head up to the nearby Shakeburg Mountain. So you can take a ferry from St. Gilgan and then take a steam train up to the mountain. So the train is a little bit expensive. It costs around 30 euros. So if you want to save some money, you can take a cable car from St. Gilgan or you can just hike it up. The view on the top is absolutely stunning because you get a panoramic views, the surrounding mountains and lakes. There are some cafes where you can get some lunch and enjoy the beautiful views and you can just hike around the area. It is so pretty. So after Schaffberg, we're gonna head over to the Zillertal Alps. This is the furthest destination in the video, being over a four hour drive from Salzburg. It's right on the Italian-Austrian border. One of the coolest places in the Zillertal Alps is the Olperer Hike. It's a hike that goes up to a peak of over 11,000 feet high, but on the way there, there's a bridge that has an absolutely gorgeous view of the lake below. This bridge is super famous all over social media. If you keep walking up the trail, there's also a nice little mountain hut where you can get some food and enjoy the view below. There's also a super cool dam on that lake, and it's just a really beautiful place with amazing views. For our last stop, we're gonna head over to the castle of Bergheim State Schloss. When I was driving back to Vienna, I saw this from the highway, so I decided to pull off the road and get as close as I could to this castle. It's believed to be built in the 12th century. It has five round towers, and it's just an absolutely magical place. What's awesome is it's free to enter, and you just hike there, and you can go whenever you want. All right, that is it for my favorite places in Austria. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Anyways, it's Ryan, and we will see you later. That's it for the video guys, I won't butcher the names of the places which he has mentioned but damn every single one of them is so beautiful and amazing. Austria you are in my to do list, I will definitely go to Austria in my vacation, not this year, I did in coming years and so but have you seen the beauty, totally unbelievable. I never seen this kind of beauty, beautiful landscape, mountains, snowfalls, glaciers, everything. Damn! Austria, you are beautiful. Austria is beautiful, sorry. Damn, Austria is beautiful. So I hope now you also knew the places where you have to go in Austria. If you're planning to your next travel, you can visit to Austria. It's a beautiful country, beautiful place. In all the places they, he has mentioned is gorgeous, amazing, you will love it. So I hope you have learned something new with this video. If you like this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like to our video and share your feedback in the comment section below. I'll wait for it. Till next time, peace out.